Hey guys, we've got our main session for the week. So make sure you go into this session well hydrated uh, and well fueled for to bring this session. This is like our game day session for the week. So make sure you're mentally and physically prepared for it. We want to bring our best effort um, throughout the session. And it will start off with just a five minute feel good aerobic jog just to get the body temperature up. Then five minutes of some mobility and activation work. So use the five minute jog at the start to see how your body feels and what extra work do you need to prepare yourself for the session and then attend to those areas. So if your calves or ankles feel tight, do some extra mobility through the ankles and calves. Uh, if your hips feel like they need a bit of stability work, do some extra uh, glute activation work. Um, so make sure that that activation piece is deliberate. Then we've got five 20 meter strides. So here we're gonna focus on good technique. So you're not going at 100%, but you're focusing on using your arms, leaning forward for the acceleration phase. So you've got that 45 degree angle from shoulders, hips and ankles. Uh, and we're um, walking back recovery with those ones. So that should just bring your energy and really get you ready for, for a solid session. Then we've got our change direction shuttle work. So for here, the head position is really, really important. We call it swiveling the head. Where our eyes go, the shoulders, hips, and feet follow. So practicing that is a good, is a good um, focus for, for the shuttle efforts, where we have a 5, a 10, 15, 20, and 25 meter effort. You accelerate out to the 5, then swivel the head to face back to the starting position. Then swivel the head to go from the starting position to the 10 meter swivel. So you get plenty of times to practice that. Uh, swivel as well as lean into the direction that you want to go next. So we don't want to be leaning away from where we want to go. You want to shift your body weight towards where you're going next every time. Then with our high speed exposure here, it's all about intensity. So make sure that you bring your effort and you bring that uh, intensity with each repetition. We're not doing a hard acceleration into a sprint and then a hard deceleration, it's gradual over a 100 meter uh, track. So the first 30 meters, just like a flying jet taking off, it's gradual building up to your speed. Then around that 30 to 40 meter mark, we get we hit your 90% of max speed and we're not holding it like a 100 meter sprinter. We're, we hit it, hit your 90% and then start to slowly, gradually wind down. Okay, so walk back recovery, take plenty of time between this, rest periods allow intensity and we're not uh, rushing into each rep. Of the five, aim for three where you at least get uh, exposure to 90% plus of max speed. Then to finish off the session, we've got your repeat speed efforts. So we've got 85 meter um, targets here, and we've got uh, three times five repetitions. So make sure that we're getting the first three steps right every rep, you hit your target, and then have your recovery and go again. So we wanna have consistency between each rep. If you're not able to hit your targets every time, we wanna try and make sure that we've got quality here because we're moving at speed. So don't just grind through every rep, give yourself a little bit longer rest period or alternate your reps uh, until you build your, your speed endurance up over the next few weeks. So go for one at high intensity pace, try and hit the target. One where we go down to aerobic pace and then back up to repeat speed pace. So you might get three of your targets out of five. And then the next week you aim for four and build it that way. Thank you, hope this helps. Have a great week and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys next week for a, another big week on the track. Cheers.